Hi everybody, this week in Let's Read, we are reading Howard B. Wigglebottom Learns to Listen. This is a great story all about our friend Howard here as he learns about one of our school values. We hope you enjoy this story. Bye. Howard B. Wigglebottom Learns to Listen Written by Howard Binko Illustrated by Susan F. Cornelison Meet Howard B. Wigglebottom. Howard is always in trouble at school because, well, Howard just doesn't listen. During story time, instead of quietly listening, Howard bounces around the room. Howard B. Wigglebottom, please sit down, be quiet and listen. But Howard doesn't listen. Howard B. Wigglebottom, you are bouncing too close to the fan. But Howard doesn't listen. At lunchtime, his friends try to warn him. Hey, Howard, watch your step. But Howard doesn't listen. After lunch, Howard's friend tries to tell him something important. Blah, 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 blah. But Howard doesn't listen. On the playground, Howard's teammates try to help him. Keep an eye on the ball, Howard. But Howard doesn't listen. In the art room, the teacher reminds the class, kids, try to keep the paint on your paper. But Howard doesn't listen. So the teacher asks him to take a time out. He feels sad. Howard does not like being alone and in trouble. He thinks and thinks and thinks about his day. Howard makes up his mind. From that moment on, he will try very hard to be the best listener he can be. The next day, Howard does listen during story time. He waits for his turn to talk and then asks a question about the story. Howard gets a big star because Howard is really listening. While walking home, Howard uses both his eyes and ears to help stay safe. Howard is really listening. When Howard gets home, he listens to his mother. Please hang up your backpack and clean your room now. Okay, Mum. Howard is really listening. So Howard gets extra time to play and have fun. Awesome ears, Howard! Time for a bedtime story. Please brush your teeth first, Howard. Howard B. Wigglebottom is really listening. Almost all of the time. Howard B. Wigglebottom learns to listen. How to be a better listener by Howard. One, sit quietly. Two, use both your eyes and your ears to help you listen. Three, please don't interrupt. Wait your turn to talk. Four, try your very best to understand the person speaking. Five, ask questions if you don't understand. Six, pay attention. That means to be alert and really know what is happening around you. Bye from Howard.